Hey, in this video we're going to cover a few things that I did not cover during the playing multiple accounts on one PC video. These are just a few things that have come to me via Discord or uh, just from YouTube comments and I figured why not make it just another, a video covering those items and we'll call it an addendum to that original video. Uh, one of those questions I re I've received multiple times is uh, how do I get my tower stacking script to work on that alternate account that's being run through Sandboxy? And to do that, it's actually not that difficult to do. Um, there, are, there are probably multiple ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the way I know how to do it. Um, if you know a different way that it works, obviously put that in the comments, I'd appreciate it. But I'm gonna show you the way I know how to make it work. So I actually have shortcuts to all of my tower stacking, my, my tower stacking script. And for me, I actually have that just saved in an AHK scripts file. And here's my tower stacking file. I have, you know, if I just double click on this, it will go ahead and run it, and you see it's just running down there. I also have this shortcut to my tower stacking script. So I have this one, I have one for main, and I also have one for my alternate account. So from, if I just go ahead and click on this, it's going to go ahead and launch. I have my tower stacking script running down here. But it's going to work perfectly fine on my main account that's running off of my regular Steam. Now I also have a shortcut to that same AHK file but it's in a sandboxy environment. So I just double click this. You'll see now I have that tower stacking script also running in sandboxy. So now I can actually do tower stacking on my main account and on my alternate account if I need to do. And so you can definitely see that they are both running. I have some technically running two different scripts. And so if you wanna go ahead and set up a, a shortcut to launch that, that tower stacking script uh, into sandboxy, it's pretty, it's actually quite simple. So we're just gonna, with, with you have to have at least something in Sandboxy running. So you can see here, I got my Sandboxy Plus thing here. And if I go into here, I have my Sandbox, which is just called Lightstepper, which is my alternate account. Um, if you have multiple boxes, you can just, um, you have, you'll need to set up a, a, a shortcut for each one of your boxes. So for me, I only have one box. Um, nothing crazy, nothing like five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 accounts, this one. So I'm just gonna right click on there and I'm gonna go to box content and I'm gonna go create a shortcut. And yes, I know you're gonna bring up a start menu. So this is gonna bring up a menu. Now I actually know my shortcuts are here and they are in the D drive, games, data, dungeon defenders, AHK scripts directory. Wherever your, your script file is, you're just gonna need to navigate that weird start menu from sandbox. So I'm gonna go ahead and create my shortcut, yes. And I'll go to all files and folders. I'm going to my D drive. And then I go to games and I'm gonna to go to data and then I'm gonna to go to dungeon defenders and I'm gonna grab my out of the HK scripts folder. And this is the file I want, which is this one right here, which is the DD one tower stacker .ahk. This is how I named them. I'll go, okay, I click on that. And I'm like, all right, it's gonna create a shortcut. I'm gonna create it on my desktop and I click save. And we can see right here, if I just go ahead and launch this, it's gonna launch that script and now it's being run through Sandboxy and if I wanna do any tower stacking uh, on my Alter account, it will work perfectly fine. One of the other questions I've gotten on Discord regarding like your alternate accounts is, I've set custom colors for my gear or I've set like a custom upgrade priority list on my main account, I want to actually have that also show up on my, uh, my, my alternate account. And the easiest way to do that, and actually quite simple, so I'm gonna go ahead and close these things out, is if you go to your Steam, we're just gonna go to, um, we're gonna browse local files, and then we're gonna go to UDK game. And then within there, you're gonna go to config. And so these are where a couple of your config files exist that, that will matter. And most importantly is your UDK CDT settings.ini file. This is the file that actually contains all of your your settings that you may have set up uh, for your main account. You can see here, I this is my upgrade priority. Now this only really applies if you're upgrading it manually. If you're using Adept, it doesn't it just doesn't pay attention to these settings at all. But if so, you can see here my my priority right now is it's going to upgrade the buff beam first, and then go to lightning towers and DSTs, then fireball. And I also have your custom color codes down here. If you already set there, there's also a video I've, I've done for this on setting colors up for different gear. And you want all of these settings to apply, not only to your main account, which it already is, but you want to also have that applied to your alternate account. So what you need to do on that is, so I've already done there. I've gone to my directory, 
you know, this is where my, my uh, Dungeon Defenders game is, and I've gone to the Dungeon Defenders UDK game config file, and I'm just going to go ahead and right click, and I'm going to go copy. I'm going to copy this file, because this is the file that, that I care about. It has all the information I want in there. Um, if you've changed particles, um, if you changed your, your particles to be lower, um, which is in this UDK engine file, it's the same process. I'm going to grab these two files, because I've actually up, I've actually edited my particles um, for better performance. I'm just going to right click and go copy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to where my actual sandbox is. And your sandbox, you know, if you followed the, my guide previously, is probably going to be in your C drive. And it's going to be in the sandbox folder. So I'm going to go there to where my sandbox is. And you can see, oh, there's an icon for your sandboxy. There's my name, Theo. And then you see here's that, um, here's, your, here's your box name, which is Light Stepper, which we already saw existed in here. If you have multiple sandboxes, you're going to see a different folder for each sandbox. If you have DD1, DD2, DD2, however many sandboxes you have, they're all going to be listed in there here. So I'm going to go in there, and you're going to see a folder called Drive. So if you go into Drive, you're going to see different letters for each one of your drives. And so over here, you can see I got a C, D, E, F, G drive. I have a whole bunch of drives. Now I know that based on this that my Dungeon Defenders actually is actually installed on the E drive. So if I just go to the E this E folder here, I go to games, Steam Library, Steam Apps, and Common, you'll see that uh, there's I got well unfortunately there's multiple folders in here. So what you'll run into oftentimes on your sandbox, especially on your sandbox themes, is if you update games on your main Steam, they'll actually have some files that end up getting sent into your sandbox. So that's one of the, we'll cover that in a moment. That's one of the things I generally will clean up with after the fact, after I do game updates, is I'll delete all that junk out of my sandbox folder because it doesn't need to, need to be there because all I care about in my sandbox folder is my Dungeon Defenders game. So I'll go now I'm going to go into Dungeon Defenders, and I'm going to go to UDK game, and I'm going to go to config. So these folders that are creating that sandbox are only going to add files they get kind of updated while you're playing the game. So it's not going to update these files in your main install directory. It's going to create a new directory and have those files. And you can see I have a whole bunch of updated files in my sandbox folder. But I want the settings I've got create I got built into these two things. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy these two over here and click you know, copy. Yeah, I want to replace these two files. Now I've in a sense just replicated the settings I had in my main account. And now when I launch the game through San my alternate game. My, basically when I launch my alt, it's going to have those exact same settings. So, so this is how you can transfer um, some of the settings that you've set in your main account to actually apply to your alternate account. And the last thing like I, I had talked about, and that's something that has been brought up, but it's something I actually kind of do often, is I'll go in here and clean up things. Like So I, like I had a game on my that was installed on F, do an update, and for whatever reason, it's probably like RetroArch, it just created a folder for whatever reason. I, and I'm a little bit nitpicky on that stuff, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this because there's nothing that I'm running in the sandbox that uses F. But if you go into these diff other different drives, you'll see, you, you may see other things in there. You'll see some, maybe some updates to things. It's up to you if you wanna clear those out. I generally don't worry about my C drive as much. It's usually all the other drives that have all my games installed that'll end up showing up in here that I may clean out. Um, and so there is just some stuff, you know, like. I have there's a log file that gets created and it's all in here it's up to you whether you want to clean that up but I generally do will clean up my drive folders ever so often when I'm you know when I'm in this directory and or after a whole bunch of game updates have happened that's all I got to cover uh, in, in this video if I've missed anything you got any other questions please just let me know in the comments uh, obviously any support issues you guys have with the original video uh, go to discord ask questions there and there are a lot more people than just me who could answer your questions and help you out. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.